Today, we'll be taking a look at home security systems basics. Welcome to the SecurityCameraGuy.com, where we discuss all things home security. Be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell notification if you want the latest tips on home security. And click the description below to get a free ebook to improve your home security. Without further ado, let's begin. Home security systems have gained a lot of popularity in the current years. Some people prefer DIY security systems, while others would rather use a comprehensive professional monitored alarm system to ensure emergency crews reach your residence as fast as possible. Let's take a look at the key elements of a home security system and what each of these means. First, we have the Central Alarm Monitoring Service, which verifies alarms before dispatching authorities. Typically, users do not pick their central station. The security dealer has its own relationship with the UL-listed station. Communications can be via landline, cellular, internet, or a combination. These, of course, have ongoing costs, though most insurance companies will give a discount on premises with monitored systems. Next up, we have motion sensors, which provide a second line of defense in case an intruder gets past the door or window sensors. Some sensors are referred to as PIRS because they employ passive infrared technology to detect the heat emitted by an intruder. The best PIR systems will detect body heat and motion and even distinguish between a person and a pet up to a certain size. Motion sensors can even work as occupancy sensors, allowing you to save up on lighting costs in your home by turning off lights in the room where there's no activity for 15 minutes. Next up, we have basic signage, such as window stickers and yard signs that warn would-be intruders, be them burglars or maybe someone who got lost, that they shouldn't trespass. That's the sign that there's a security system out there that will, of course, end up in bad consequences for those who do not heed the warning. Next up, we have the security control panel, which communicates with all of the devices, including sensors, sirens, keypads, central monitoring station, and the internet. The number of zones refers to the number of sensors tied into the security system. Next up, we have the door and window sensors. These are the first line of protection, sometimes called contacts, which detect the opening of doors and windows. A system can be programmed to sound a chime when a door or window is opened in an unarmed mode. Next up, we have the sirens. Most systems have a one tone for a burglar alarm and another tone for fire. The best siren systems also provide voice feedback so that it can announce the specific issue. And finally, we have the keypads, touchscreens, and apps. The companions to properly arm up and manage the security systems from a remote distance. So, do you understand how a security system works now? Let me know if you have any other questions in the comments below. And while you're at it, don't forget to leave me a like, share this video with your friends, and also subscribe to the SecurityCameraGuy.com for more videos like this one. And click the description below to get a free ebook to improve your home security. I hope you enjoyed today's video. I'll see you next time.